Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. This week is kind of not going easy because the simple services for some reason turn out to be painful and more problematic than being expected. This is another case of it today. 2008 Prius which came for regular Maintenance, just the engine oil change. On the test drive, suddenly the brakes felt weird and I got lights in the dash. I got the brake light on the left and ABS, skid, check engine light, or the lights in the dashboard. So, I hooked the scanner to maintain the correct battery just to be sure I removed the tray and I have a jumper there on the, that small 12 volt let's go see what can we do with this this is totally annoying I can't believe that this is happening but it is what it is huh what can we do? The things don't go well all the time, so let's read the VIN. It's okay. It's a without smart key. This one doesn't have a smart key. So as I said, 2008 Prius, we agree with that. Can this light goes off? Come on. Let's see what's the problem with that ABS. These things take a while. I still have only 12.18 volts from even having that support battery there, which is barely acceptable. 1222, okay. It came a little bit up. Yep, these little batteries in the trunk are very weak, you guys know that. And unless the main battery supports everything, I don't want it to go on the under 12 volts. Okay, diagnosis. Auto scan, let's do the auto scan. Transmission control, you see the engine is fine and now it's the third ABS VSC TRC Reading codes, okay, so that means there are codes in it I will pause it here because it will take a while You can see we are only at 13% And then I will invite you back, but you get idea these scanners are slow so there are two faults we already know in the ABS, VSC and TRC. Maybe you want to stay with me, because the other ones will probably go really quick. You see everything else on this Prius, it's pretty good. It's not so bad. Oh, air conditioner has a fault. I wonder what it is. Immobilizer gateway. 86 person, we are getting there, 93, da da da. Okay, so it highlighted the one which has a fault and that's that ABS, VSCTRC, we will push right here. I always like to show you it live, so you have idea. If you don't do this every day, you have idea how fast it is. Sometimes these scans really take time. So when we uh, scan just for like an engine cause, we use the more simple scanner because it's way faster. The voltage is still over 12 volts, 12.18, so that's fine. Again, you can see, okay. C1203 current engine control system communication circuit but then what is important for us it's C1345 current not learning linear valve 
offset. So basically it's all about this one. This is our problem. It's current. So there's no way for me to erase it. It will not erase. That's why I have all these lights on. Okay, let's go and hope we have a utility active test and special functions. So I don't need live data. I don't need to test it. I need a special functions. Air bleeding, you see, reset memory. Ooh. It should be an ECB. Linear valve offset. Do you see it right here? This function serves to calibrate. We need to recalibrate a linear solenoid valve offset. Use this function if. Well, we will use it because it failed on us on the test drive. Who knows why? Nothing of that was replaced. Only engine oil change was done. So this is weird that it happened. But hopefully we will be able to recalibrate it. When the brake actuator or stroke sensor has been replaced, you must clear the stored value. Yep, reset and recalibrate. Linear valve offset. During calibration, ABS lamp will flash quickly. Brake warning lamp flashes slowly. So, let's see. They are not flashing right now. After we will start, they should be. Oh my god, these birds. Oh, look at that. It really flashes. Did you hear the sound from the engine from ABS system? Excellent. I think we will be able to do that. Now, this is how that Autel deals with it. This will take a while, and that's why you see I'm barely touching 12 volts. I don't understand why the jumper, which is hooked to it, is not supplying more voltage. Maybe next time I will put it on battery charger slash maintainer instead of that jumper box. Okay, we are 12 again. So now again, you see how it's going. I will pause this. There's no way. Oh, it still calibrates and resets. I heard another, again that noise. I guess I better be quiet. Because all the sounds happening outside. And the noise from the next neighbor stopped. They keep grinding something there and working on their projects, but now it's suddenly quiet. 36 seconds. Once again, I like to show it live because everybody, even people who never did that, get idea how these resets and calibrations sometimes take time. It's still flashing over there. Only 10 seconds, definitely no reason to pause the camera anymore. That's a noise from the neighbor, not from the engine. Linear valve officer when both lamps flash fast, calibration is completed. Well, they really flash like a maniacs. She's a maniac, maniac. Oh, oh, press next to go back to the electronically function menu or press escape to exit. Well, we can escape it. Let's see how that, if that will stop flashing. Oh yeah, it stopped. We are right here. It was in the ECB, electronically controlled brake function, ECB. 
That's where you will find it in the special functions. And I think there should be not. Did you just see that? The ABS VSCTRC reset itself. I'm so glad I didn't pause it and you guys can see it live. So I don't have to do even the quick erase which is on the bottom. We have no faults. It's still lit. But I will tell you what. I will escape from this. Are you sure? Yes. We fixed our problem. Escape. 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 Yes, I want to exit. And we can go in the home right here. So this is it. I can switch off the vehicle. Turn it off. And I tell you what. This is the only safe time to disconnect a scanner from the OBD terminal. We can put it right here. You can see it's not hooked, right? And now guess what? I can put my foot on the pedal like I normally want to start a vehicle and let's see. Look at that. Look at that. If I step on the throttle, the engine will start. Look at that cleanliness. We just did a big cleanse on this Prius. Why that got triggered on the test drive, I have no idea. But I don't care. Do you see that happy face? Do you see that happiness coming out of me? Yes. I'm happy. This week, though, I told you, everything I touch, it's done, but then something else pops. The day came 2010 Taco. It was after all these cars. I jokingly said to the owner, hey, the 2010 Tacoma, I know, I will shut it off. I know it's in good shape. You just came for oil change, right? But I'm telling you this whole story if you won't run away because my shop this week is nightmare. Guess what happens? We put it on lift, of course halfway up. I always check wheel bearings and the steering. Sure enough, on driver's side he's steering the inner tie rod and is totally loose and he already scheduled for the next week so these are the stories from my shop i know you enjoy listening to them and follow me me on this if you like this video give it a thumb up and be subscribed i have way more coming your way soon see you later my friend